Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben and this is the Trout Doorsman. Today we are fishing beautiful Cayuga Lake in the Finger Lakes. We are running slip bobber rigs right now. It is a slip bobber bite. Uh, it's the middle of summertime. Um, it is July and the saw belly bite is on. Saw bellies, if you don't know, are an alewife is the name of the fish. It's a bait fish. It is like the Mercedes Benz of bait fish out here in the Finger Lakes. All the Finger Lakes have a huge resource population of them and it's what the trout are feeding on right now. So today we are running slip bobbers about 25 feet down in the, and I'm gonna show you guys how to rig up a slip bobber right now. So guys, in order to do a slip bobber rig, you have to obviously have a slip bobber. Uh, this is a Rippin' Reaper, uh, three and a half inch size, I believe. You can use the three or the four inch size, doesn't really matter. You also need a bobber stopper, which is this right here. Like they come in packs with small beads, which is this small bead right here. Uh, you will need this, and I will show you in just a minute. Six millimeter bead or just another bead. Doesn't really matter, I like orange and yellow. I use one of each sometimes, just orange. This is a sinker, obviously, you're gonna need one of these. This is the one ounce size, I prefer the one ounce size. Um, you will also need a hook, and I like to use these hooks. These are the bead hooks, they are size number six. And you will also need a swivel. I use the small swivels, and I tie on some fluorocarbon line to it about 18 inches and i will show you guys exactly how to tie this up so first it is the middle of july and so we are fishing about 25 feet down um, so i want to take this bobber stopper and i want to put it 25 feet up my line so i'll show you guys exactly how to do that i have my bale open and i'm just going to feed this uh bobber stopper right through that little plastic and so now we're there. And so I'm gonna count, I'm gonna count about what I think is 20 feet. So I'm gonna go about a foot. That's about one foot, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, and for good luck, about 22. <laughs> And so now I'm going to slide this little plastic off just like that. And it's got a slit in it. It's actually going to fall right to the ground. I'm going to wet this with my spit and pull it nice and tight, just like that. See? Perfect. Now I'm going to get my braided scissors and cut my tag lines right over here. Just like that. Take your scissors, snip your tag line. Give yourself a little bit uh, left over just in case it comes loose. You can bite onto it and kind of uh, get it to tighten up on you. So now I'm gonna take my rod, I'm gonna close the bale, and begin reeling my line. As you can see, the bobber stopper is right on this rod right here. See that? It's gonna stay right there and it's actually gonna go all the way down into the reel 20 feet up the line which is right where i want it to be so i'm going to reel myself a workable amount of line for the next step okay so the next step is now that i have my bobber stopper all the way up the line i want to take this very small bead that i showed you that comes with the bobber stopper and i want to put that bead on first and what that's going to do is it's when it reach when the bobber stopper reaches this bead it's going to stop that's why i call it a bobber stopper i'm going to put the small bead on first and then i'm going to put a larger bead on the six millimeter bead because this bobber has a hole that is bigger than the smaller bead so i use another bead just to stop the bobber so next i'm going to take this line and fish it through the bobber stopper which is easier said than done sometimes uh, but this is a brand new bobber it shouldn't be too complicated there we go so that's what it should look like just like that the top bead is, and is the small one the bottom one is the six millimeter now uh 
you can either put the sinker on or the bead it doesn't really matter um, I put the sinker on the one outside sinker and then I put another bead on just like that so next I'm gonna take my little swivel here and I'm just gonna tie a clinch knot onto that two well some spins there I'm gonna tie a clinch knot onto that and snip my tag line now I already have tied 18 inches of 100% fluorocarbon leader. I like to use fluorocarbon because when it hits the water, it is completely invisible and it's a good presentation for the fish. Lastly, I'm going to take my number six hook and do the same thing, tying a clinch knot on the end of that. And then I'm going to bait my fish onto this hook and cast it out and hopefully catch a fish so once I've got that tied all the way down just like that perfectly I'm gonna snip my tag ends and just like that there you have it that is right there a slip bobber rig top bead very small six millimeter bead bobber which is slipping the one ounce size sinker bead swivel leader hook just like that and what happens is when I throw this out it's gonna begin to hit the water so once it hits the water it's gonna lay flat and what's gonna happen is it's gonna lay flat just like that and my line is gonna begin to sink down all the way down to 20 feet and when that green little bobber stopper gets to that top bead it's gonna go just like this Boom, and it's gonna sit right up that's how you know you have reached your depth now I'm gonna bait this up right now real quick I'll show you where I bait it and I'm gonna cast it out and hopefully get fish so I'm gonna come over to my bait bucket and get a good size fish here this is the bait fish I'm talking about also folks it is an alewife also known as a saw belly he's a feisty one and I can pick these up at my local bait shop uh, they're about ten dollars a dozen they're a little expensive compared to your shiners and stuff like that but they are a very effective way to fish it's what the fish are feeding on and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hook them right through the dorsal fin very shallow and put them on there very lightly just like that very light and now I'm gonna take it out dip them in the water just to get them acclimated a little bit to the new temperature of the water I can see he's already swimming right now he is geared up and ready for action so I'm gonna go over here to my spot and I'm gonna cast him out very gently because I don't want him to fly off the hook I'm gonna get him out there and I'm just gonna leave my bail open set my set my rod down and I'm gonna see that bobber tip up just like that and now we are have reached the depth so next we're just gonna wait and hopefully get a fish on I thank you guys so much for tuning in this is the trout doorsman all right folks we got a fish on bobber down that is what I'm talking about Sean hooked up to a nice fish yeah, let him take it if he wants it. That's a nice one. Did you get a bite in the creek? Yeah. how we do it folks right here on the trout doorsman beautiful landlock atlantic salmon right there the run of the slip bobber today with a live minnow good fish man nice Way that's what's coat, up baby. 
That's how we do it right here on the trout doors. And stay tuned for more action. Fish on, baby. Fish on, folks. We got a nice fish on here. Well, they're coming in a little fast. He might be a little small. I believe it is a lake trout. It's burping a little bit. I want to make sure my drag is set correctly for him. A little too much. Good fish. Bringing them up nice and slow. Want to make sure that I always have enough drag uh, to let this fish go when he wants to go. And we're just bringing them up nice and slowly here. Uh, I am fishing in what's seeing, I believe it is about 50 feet of water. And we are running the slip bobber without the slip bobber all the way on bottom. I'm just letting it sink down and sit on the bottom with a live minnow. And he's coming up. Folks, I believe this is a very good fish. See here. Just a moment. Oh yeah, holy cow. Very good fish. Burping. There he is, folks. Beautiful lake trout. Very nice lake trout right there. And you can put him down right out of the net there. And Sean, go on, take that camera there. I'll show you. Take that All pig home the, on the trout doorsman. What we fish for out here in Finger Lakes. All right, folks, this is a beautiful Finger Lakes lake trout. And he's burping right now because he's been fighting. But beautiful lake trout. I would say this is about five or six pounds. Um, and we caught him on, like I said before, a live saw belly. Um, so, yeah, this is exactly how we do it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for more action. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's all the time we have for today. We had a great day of fishing. Um, I hope this video has helped you in learning how to set up a slip bobber and also uh, a bottom rig. Um, we got uh, a good sized lake trout, probably seven pounds, I would say, around, and two nice salmon. One we got on film, the other one, uh, the GoPro actually died. Uh, but I'll give you a shot of the big fish we got here. There's a big old lake trout there. And salmon and there's another one under there there he is three really nice fish super excited to get home make some nice lake trout chowder my friend Sean is gonna be taking the salmon home guys go ahead hit subscribe hit like leave a comment below I would love to get to know you where you're from what kind of fish you like to catch uh, thank you guys so much for watching and as always good fishing you're only gonna find this information right here on the trout doorsman